this is the third lecture on differential equations and it's on homogeneous equations. Right, first up, a homogeneous equation is an equation involving x and y where if you changed x for ax and y for ay, you would end up with the original equation. Now, with homogeneous equations, you can put the answer in a form y equals u of x, so y is some function of x. And in this lecture we were introduced to a few dependent variables which are coming quite useful when you're doing questions. So we have z equals y over x and dy over dx equals x times dz over dx plus z. And these are quite useful to learn and remember. Right, so we have an example where we have dy over dx equals y squared minus x squared over 2xy. Now what we want to do to prove this is homogeneous is to swap the y for ay and the x for ax. So we do that and that gives us this equation. And what we want to do now is we want to prove that this equals this, don't we? So the easiest way to do this is to take all the a's out by multiplying out the brackets and then just taking the a out as a common factor, which we do here. And then looking at this, we can just cancel out the a's, a squared, and that will give us our original equation. So it is a homogeneous, and now we need to put it in the form y is a function of x. So, what I've done here is I've just separated it. So we have, I've put a y squared over 2xy minus x squared over 2xy, and an x and a y cancel on the bottom of each of these. And then what I've done, I've used the dependent variables z equals y over x, and I've changed this. So I've got z over 2 minus 1 over 2z, because it's the other way around. And then this has got to equal, because it used to equal dy over dx, so now it equals x dz over dx plus z. Now, what, what I've done here, I've just moved, simply moved that z over, over here, and that will equal this. Now what we want to do, we want to solve it using separation of variables, which we used in the last lecture. And this will give us, not this really, so I've just... Uh, move the dx up and the x down, and I uh, move this over here, and I put it back over. So where it was a minus, it's, bec it's become a plus. And what you can do, this this actually does equal that. Um, I've put them together basically, and the, the two goes up to the top because we're dividing by it, and it becomes divided by a half. But you, if you work it out, you'll be able to get it. Right, and now, what we were left with, I'll show I swap back. We were left with this, and now we want to uh, integrate it with our separation of variables, so it gives us log x plus, because that's a differentiation of this, log 1 plus z squared. And this has got to equal some constant, because we've got to have our integration constant, haven't we? So now, when we have multi uh, addition in logs, it means they multiply together, so that's what we've done here. And then I've just uh, put, it, put it to the power e to get rid of the log, and multiplied it out, which gives me x plus, and it did give me x z squared, and z squared is y squared of x squared, because there was an x on top from here, it cancelled with the bottom one, so we're just left with c equals x plus y squared over x, and then we can rearrange this, moving the x up and the x over, and square rooting to give y equals plus or minus the square root of x times c minus x. And that is how we get to our answer. <coughs>